Alright, so the first step in this process is to place your GoPro onto the application form for its Wi-Fi. You need to be sure that it's set not to the Wi-Fi remote, but set to the GoPro application like one you would use with your phone or your iPad. Then you need to turn on the Wi-Fi on your GoPro and set it up at a place where you want it to be. You don't need to start recording or anything, just set it up for it to stand by. Now, once you set up the GoPro in the place you want it to be, you then jump onto your laptop. This is what's really complicated and really important, so good luck. First, right there, you need to go click onto the Wi-Fi of your GoPro Hero 3, and then you need to go over to System Preferences, then Network, and then click Advanced, and then click TCP slash IP, and then get your router address right there. It's going to be the same for every single GoPro, but just copy that. Open up Google Chrome, and since you're connected to the Wi-Fi of your GoPro, not actual Wi-Fi, it's not going to come up with any page except for, like, it can't connect. You paste that router address, and then you do port 8080. I'm going to type it in right there, it's a little semicolon thing, 8080. Then you press enter after that, and it's going to bring you up with this. You need to go to live, and then you need to click on that link right there, it's the second one down. Once you're here, you need to copy that URL. This is really important and really complicated. Don't ask me how I got to this. I found some videos on the internet. Just copy that. What I did was I pasted it on a sticky note right there, so I always have it, since that's never, ever going to change. You then need to go to QuickTime Player, boot it up, go to File, and then Open Location. Once you have that, I'm just going to exit out of Chrome here, and then I'm going to exit out of System Preferences, just because they look bad. Once you have that, you paste that URL you just got, then you click Open. It's going to open up this little video. It's going to be kind of low quality, but that's okay because you're getting a live feed onto your computer. And with this, you can do really whatever you want. I'm just going to say hi to the camera here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there it is. This is completely live. You can do whatever you want with it. You can set up the GoPro on a ceiling or whatever. As long as you can connect, connect to it with Wi-Fi, you'll always be able to access it from your uh, computer. So it doesn't matter if it's in the uh, Pro Res or whatever it is for the GoPro, its highest settings, anything. It's no matter what, you'll always be able to preview this video with it, which is super useful. Anyways, peace.